coloured aluminium. You need to get special aluminium before doing that. You don't do exactly what I did. I bought loads of different aluminium off of eBay thinking it would work and it doesn't work. It really has to be the special aluminium which is unsealed because you can get it's anodized aluminium but it needs to be unsealed. You'll find that you know you could get anodized aluminium which I bought before but it's been sealed. So what what that means is you've got the anodized unsealed which means there's an anodic layer on the top of it and it's like open pores. So that is where the dye is going into. And as soon as we get the, the dye in there, what we want to do is make it fast, robust and colour fast, in which we do, we put it in the steamer, which then seals these pores up. It's like when you're washing your hair, like for, for shampoo and you open it and you put your colour in, and then you put your conditioner on to, to, to close the pores up again. You, you know about that, eh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. thought so. Just a duster. <laughs> so it's important that you get the right material to start with, first of all. When you get the material, uh, the, pe the people that you get the good material from are not in business yet. I keep looking. It's been two years since I've had the, had the fire. So there is, a, there is a company that specialises in the jewellery part within that. And I'm quite excited to get, to get using with it. But it's not opened yet, so... John Bowman and Watson's are two uh, for, for buying the anodized aluminium. It's like hen's teeth trying to get this uh, trying to get this stuff. So that's the, that's the two people that I would recommend using. So first, you need to have your gloves on if you're if you're handling this because that's something I've noticed when I get the aluminium. Obviously, it's not specifically for people that want to work with jewellery. So the people that are in the factories are, are handling it just with their with their with their fingers. So you'll often find as you start to do a dye, you might find a little fingerprint mark comes up in it. So anything the grease or that it'll not dye. So that's why it's really important that you wear your gloves. So we we'll have a few things we can do. I brought my own aluminium dye, and that's where is. How yeah. would you clean it? Sorry? How would you pre-clean it? It's already, it's, it's all ready to die as soon as you get it. The unsealed, ah. but keep everything with your gloves so it's all clean when you when you get it. And keep it in the tracing paper uh, that you get with it. Uh -huh. There's a yeah. factory worker, so the handling of the there's, the, there's nothing that you can, can do about yeah, the fingerprints that you get at the edge. I use that to my advantage sometimes as part of the design. Okay. Um, so Because when it comes out and I see fingerprints, I'll just... Uh, Right, okay, that kind of work is a plain colour sheet, so let's just uh, merge it in with the. So I'll, I'll just use it and and go with it. So don't. I'll just send them uh, around. There's the dyes here. I'm just passing around. That's the dyes that we're using. The little little powdered dyes mm -hmm. that are here, and then they're just going into plastic. Don't put them into metal because hmm. it'll react uh, with metal. So just stick with your plastic tub for putting your dyes in. Um, mix them with water, water. Yeah, so, so mm -hmm. mix them with water. So some people will say mix them with distilled water, but our water up here is absolutely fine um, for mixing it with. So there we've got our powdered colours. Mines are not as strong, because I've been using them a lot, so they're not as strong as you would first get them when you put them in, but you'll see uh, what I do when you, when you go in. Now you can either get, you can either go straight in and have a one coloured dip. That's me with my so gloves on in we go to the dye. Now it'll depend on the strength that you want is how long how long that you leave it in the bath for. So you know you can keep checking just to see what it's like. If you see there that's going to be light. You always uh, rinse it off in the water. So that's quite a light colour but we want it stronger so we just keep that in there a little bit a little bit longer. I'll leave that in there so we can get a stronger a stronger colour. Now we can also make make patterns. So we could use we could use masking tape to make to make patterns. We want that a resist. So let's go into the try the green one. Might even find that there's something in there. <laughs> right, so again we just pop it into the dye. 
right. So I'll leave that there just a wee bit here till we get that. And you're just remembering to, to put your fingers in the water. You need to brush it on. So that you could brush it on? Brush it on. In fact, can I get some brushes? Some, somebody, somewhere? Mm. Also, I like to have a base and use the, the inks of the, of the alcohol inks. If you're, it has to be, it has to be permanent if you're, so it has to be alcohol and not water base that you're putting on there. So you can use things like your, like your Sharpie pens, any other pens, the Posca pens uh, as well that you get, they're really good for, for, for drawing on. So I'll show you, no, there's no, there's no brushes so you're out of luck. Right, okay, well, I'll, 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 I'll pretend I've got a brush, I'll pretend my fingers are brushed so that you can see what I'm, what I'm doing that with. The masking tape that I've got in there is what is called a dry resist. So you can either put the masking tape on, but that gives a little fuzzy edge uh, to, your, to, your, uh, <coughs> to your designs. Electrical tape, sticky black uh, back plastic as well. If you've got your big sheets of plastic, if you want a, a coverage, you can also scalpel <coughs> shapes out of the sticky black plastic so that you know you've got uh, or if somebody's into their, their die cutting machines uh, you know their silhouette dies you can you can have the, the plastic that goes over there dye it and then take your plastic off and then that will leave the plain silver aluminium it's just or you can put it in for a second dye so you can either have like red and green or whatever <coughs> colours that you choose for that right have you tried masking fluid well, we tried me and Susan tried masking fluid last last week, so that's it. So that that's your wet resist. Sorry, is uh, Tipex correction fluid, brilliant. Uh, clear clear screen printing inks. You can use that as well. So so they're clear. That provides a, a resist for you as well. Wax. We've got Renaissance wax in here, so we can use uh, Renaissance wax. Smear it out out if you want to get that kind of smeared look to it. Masking fluid, which we tried. So you can just you can just put your mask and fluid and just do the design. You can paint it. You can paint it on. Um, you can see where the silver is, is. It's left there. So you can just paint paint that on, and then you take it, uh, dye it, and when you bring it out, and then just rub the the mask and fluid off, and that leaves you with. <laughs> with your plain aluminium it's not been dyed you can then double dip it again into a different colour so that you're getting different you're getting different colours with that right let's see how our red's doing could I get a wee cloth just to dry it you can also use the wet. Oh, I'll, I'll just make you can also use the wet to your advantage yeah, as well if you want to, to make oh, you the alcohol to inks go oh, right, okay. smear about. Okay. Thank you. I've also left it with uh, the kitchen the kitchen foil, but it's got all these little ribbed bits. So I've left it to dry on that, and you take it off, and you've got a really nice pattern on the back as well. So it's lovely to have a, a, a back pattern texture and your your image and that that you want on the front and that just gives it if you like to you know two different two, two different sides so alcohol ink with no brushes but i do it over the the water this is the best alcohol ink is the tim holtz uh, alcohol ink other ones i've never found as, as works as good so there again i don't know if you could so you can see. So you just I often do my lines like that, see how it's just merging out. So it starts to it starts to merge. I like mixing it with different colours.
it off and you could you could brush it, brush it on, so just pretend I've got a brush and I'm brushing. And I look and think, oh, I don't like that. I'll just put some more on here. I prepared the pink better, so let's go. Let's go with the pink, and it'll go over the top of it again. And you get some, you get some fantastic serendipity colours that come out the way that they mix into one another. And that's when I look at, that's when I look at my things. I think, oh, that looks like that. And that's where my designs come from. So, oh, that looks like a nice landscape. I'm going to, I'm going to stamp a wee tree in there or something. So. Let's take this and if you're using stamps, I use a lot of stamps for my design, so it has to be the stays on ink, so it has to be the permanent ink that you use and not the ones that will just wipe off with that. So here's me taking my my stamp. I've just put a little, fe I've just put a little feather uh, on there. So let's see what this looks like on here. So just press it on. And off. Ooh. And there's a, a feather on the, on the, oh. well, the little, little thing. <laughs> but it's a, it's a feather on yeah. that. But you let that dry. I mean, already you, you can see that there, there is an immense array of colours that you could put on there, that you, you know, you could do that. And we've got the green one in here, isn't there? Was it in there? No, it was in that one. Right. Right. Right, there's the plain, got the plain green there that has come out. The longer you leave it, the more the more darker it, it goes, and because I've used this a lot for for my work at home, it's it's even right. Here's the masking tape coming off. You can see you can see where it can sometimes leave leaves a fuzzy edge. Right, there's just got a little little print, mm -hmm. uh, just with a with a masking tape. So if you think if you've got a specific print that you you can use, you could be using your you know, your, your Tipex correction fluid or uh, dipping in the Renaissance wax and, and putting it in. So it's a bit like batik, if, you know, for anybody who's done uh, batik dyeing there. Now, you can either leave it like that or we can we can put it in a mix. So let's put it in the, the red and see what happens with that. So we'll leave that there just a wee minute. So, right, I don't know. I'm going to try your one that you got. <laughs> see what see what it's like. So I'm going to put I'm put, going to put a few in. Right, I'll put this one in a couple. Put a few in the, in the pink away. Right, you can also with this with this one you can also with the um. To make the designs, I'm going to put the lids on them so they just have to carry on there and just to let them dry in. So you can use Sharpie pens, as I say, Sharpie pens, Posca pens, and that as long as it's permanent ink that you're using that will uh, work on here. So I tend to use silver a lot as my as, as my signature, but then you could draw whatever you want on here. So I'll just do a wee, a wee doodle. Sharpie should, should dry quite quick, so you can see you just little little uh, sharpie pens on that. I mean, you get all sorts of different colours sharpie pens, so it's just kind of using that. So you just need to think about the thickness of your nib that you're using for the designs that you're going to going to do that. And I mean, already look look how cool that that colour is, and things that you can uh, things that you can do with that. 
So let's go down, not even putting it in, <coughs> just use an alcohol ink. <coughs> it's permanent once it goes in the steamer. And uh, I would always use the, <coughs> the proper dyes for aluminium because they're on a, on a, a grading scale to, to one to eight, they're, they're higher up the end of the scale. I mean, yeah, you can use the dial on, on that, but they're not colour fast. And if you're going to be selling your, your products to people, you want to make sure that it's, uh, that it's the best quality you can get. So I would always use the proper dyes for aluminium uh, powder dyes. So right, without even, di without even dipping it in anywhere, I could use my, I can use my, my own alcohol inks here. So dying them down again. So you can brush them. Yuck, I don't like that, so it goes in. Can you clean it off? You could clean it off if you want to spend time with your acetone and your toothbrush rubbing it. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't. <laughs> so again, I mean, it could just be dots that you're putting on. that are coming up and I just 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 think about the the world of designs that you can do you start looking at things then you could bring your pen in afterwards and then you could be thinking oh that looks like a dandelion I'm going to I'm going to continue with that and draw in and then put put other uh, things on on top of it right we'll just let that see what happens Take the red one out see what that looks like in the mask of time. It was a yellow. Right. Right, so there you've got there you've got the red that's dyed on the um because I've had the masking tape before. I mean obviously the longer they leave it the more you get it. So start to use these designs. What's the longest you leave it in for? Let's I've left I've left it in overnight actually yeah, and, and that's one of the pieces I did of like a really dark midnight blue. Then what then what I went and did with that was you can that's not gonna look so above <coughs> yes, mm. I'll speak to that in a minute. I, you can actually just use a bit of masking tape or a bit of, you know, a little crunched up plastic and mm. you can just dab on, actually do it on a, a darker one so you could so you could see it a bit better. So on the, on the dark blue that I had, So again, stays on ink. That's that's gold. You can probably can you see it as a, as, as you move it, the the gold it just brings in that fleck. But it looks lovely on really dark, mm. dual kind of sumptuous colours that you're just adding, that you're just adding with that because that is quite that's quite light. So we can actually still just put that back in and leave it in the green. Now. You once you could have a you could have a big sheet and you've got your colour that you want on it. You can then go to the pendant drill and you could take a little engraving burr and you can begin to engrave on the top of it and you'll take that colour off and it just gives it that little bit of depth as well. So you can actually do your own hand hand design with on that by as you're taking the colour uh, off of there as well. Um, 
going to be trying on Friday the laser printing, taking up my own sheet and actually getting it laser etched. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm going to try see how that that works. I know you can do it, so it'll just be trial and error as to the depth the depth of etch and setting up the machine right um, for, for getting this in, down here. You can see, I've still got some water on it, but can you see the little little colours in that that it, that it makes? So, just make sure you're drying it before you do the next, the next on top of it. So you can draw away add on to that so it's like oh I could see you know something in there let me just imagine that's a different colour of pen uh, so already you're changing you're changing that by looking at the colours that are there and just adding your design to that 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 you think uh, goes <coughs> that it kind of goes 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 in with it. So what else do I need to tell you? See up on your skin bit. Can you do more to it? Can you bring it back and put more? Iron no, that's it. Once you've steamed it, that uh, that, is the, that is the that is the final process right. in colour. That's it. No, right. you can't you can't re dye it because you've actually there's a layer is now sealed right. over and it's it, it's sealed over. Okay. Now. You still could you could use the rolling mill. You can use the punch. So so once you once you once you've finished, we take this to the steaming machine. We would put it into the steam the steamer, and put it on for forty five minutes. So you need to have it on for a for a, a good time to steam. You can actually drop. You don't need to have a steamer. You can drop it into a hot a hot uh, pot of water. I've never tried that. I just because I'm, I'm lethal with hot, hot, hot pots of water, so I'm much better with a steamer. I find it much safe. I can put it on, it's timed, and it switches, it switches itself off after 45 minutes. And you can pick up a steamer, a steamer quite cheap. I got mine's uh, second hand off a gum tree that nobody wanted, so, uh, so that's another thing that's quite good. Oh, yeah, just pop it away again. But just don't use it for doing your fish and your vegetables afterwards. Just keep mm. it solely for your aluminium. Um, <laughs> Any other questions? I'm, I'm trying. You, you could use stencils. I use I use stencils as well. So I've got a little. Uh, I did a little thing with a little little mermaid. So I had a stencil. So I would take my my stamp that would be that would be patterned in any sort of way. Like there's there's some ideas with aluminium that I've done. If you just uh, pass them around. Because the one thing about aluminium, you can't you can't solder it. Well, you can, but it's very technical and very difficult to do. And I would not <coughs> recommend it. But um, so you need to think of ways to put it together so that your your cold connections, you know, your riveting and your your tab setting. Uh, <coughs> um, sorry. Yeah, you could put your prints because I'm because I'm I'm a love I love houses so I do a lot of my prints in, in, in houses so I've got like paisley pattern print and it's just on rubber. Now you can take your own print, you can get your own lino cut and cut your own design, your own print, your own with your own lino, and then you would have your block print that you're just going to uh, basically put down uh, on onto that. Let me see where we have here. I lost the purple. Is this purple? <laughs> you should see me at home. <laughs> right. How long can you keep the dyes for then? Like just the you, they'll they'll go they'll for a they'll go for a long time. But once you start putting it in and you think, oh, it's not really getting that. I'm not really getting the strong colour that I want out of it. Then it's time to make up a new batch. But I've had mine for quite I've had mine for quite a wee while now. Mm -hmm. Well, I've not had to yet. I'll need to have a look at that. Sorry, <laughs> so I need to find. But it is water based, so I will need to, to find out how to, to whether I could just put it down the, the toilet or not. So I will need to check out that on there, and I'll let you know, guys. Have you ever added added more powder, powder to it to, to 
picking up a bit. Yes, you could add more, and then add more, add more water, and then add more powder. Yeah, but I'll probably, I would probably just. Well, you could, you could do that. You could see on this where people have handed it. That's a good, that's a good example of where the fingerprints have been. It's a very good example. If you want to, if you want to pass that around, just try and hold. No, it doesn't matter if you. Some plenty of fingerprints have done it anyway. <laughs> so that is the, that is the drawback with certain parts that you cut is where the workers have, have handled it at, at the edge, and you never know what's going to it's come out. Uh, no. Uh, yeah, it's, ju it's just it's just the, it's the grease that's already uh, penetrated into wow. that. No, what was I doing? I was going to, yeah. So, oh, can, so just just imagine if you have. I know that you can do wood blocks. You can laser laser etch a, a, a wood block and do that. But I don't think the wood are, are as great at penetrating. You're much better with the uh, rubber. Mm -hmm. We have. We could do we could do another one once I've once I've done more um, research on that because we have little rollers for those of you that do card printing or making you have the little hand brayer rollers you can use that and you can use the print the printed ones that you get on that as, that as well and you can roll that straight across your your, your sheet as well with, the, with your printing inks for doing that now this is is this have we got the one that we did with the printing inks we didn't do one Oh, we did the sort of the red one that we did, eh? The red was a shark. Oh. That that one's a uh, shark piece. Oh, that was the one that's yeah, that's the stencil with the yeah. screen printing inks. So stencils, you can get your stencils that that you like. Oh, that's another thing I should say as well. You'll find when you buy your aluminium, it'll either be one-sided or two-sided where it's treated where it's unsealed so if you want the the side to remain plain on one side you would just buy it as the as a one side but i like both my sides to be colored or just to, to do them different colors on both sides make it versatile so always remember if you're getting a, a double-sided unsealed aluminium uh, anodized aluminium that you buy these are the sharpies. Look how cool the, the sharpies are. Pass that around as well. Is that is that straight sharp or is that straight sharpies? The sharpies? Is it, is it, that's just sharpies. That's just sharpies straight on there. So it's it's the alcohol. If you're putting straight on there, just like we did with this, it has to be the alcohol uh, base and not a water base. So sharpies are a great pens for that. Sharpies and yeah, potters. That one's the laser edge. Right. This one. Look at the look at the cool patterns you get on with the laser etching so you could oh, that's cool. pass that with the laser etching so you can you can actually have you know florals your scene what is it that you're taking from your your the pages of your sketchbook also you could use the PNP paper the blue stuff mm -hmm. have you used that for your copper yet yes, you know, Tell me because I was dumb. Where did you get the? Where did you get? The I don't brush? know. It, it was just in there. Do you know what I think that is? I think that's maybe a bit of brush oil that hasn't dissolved, so it's a really crystal bit of pigment and it's really strong and it's sat on top of it in the bottom of the box. Did you put it? Did you put it in the dye or that? Or yeah, top? yeah. And but do you know what I think I did? I when I put the PNP paper on, I heated that too much, so I practically sealed it. Did you do it on there? Yeah, that's deeply. what I was that's what yeah. I was wanting to, right. to, so to that's try and what do I that. Did. I you, think I've sealed it so that when I put yes. it in there it's not te well, taking the dye. That's what we needed to try and that, yeah. well, that was good. That was a yeah. perfect so experiment. But yeah. we're trying to use the hot plate mm -hmm. and which is great, uh, brilliant for the copper, mm -hmm. but we're trying to see if it would seal it. Uh, and that's another example of when you put it in the steamer how it seals and then it becomes that's it the layer's gone going over it so when the layer's gone over susan's trying to die it it'll, it'll, yeah, it'll it not die because that's it could you use an iron on the, the iron yes so it's just so just 
exactly as you did before with the green paper with the iron. Another thing that you could use is acetate. So, but it has to be it has to be the photocopier ink um, that you would use for that. So you get onto your acetate sheet, put the acetate onto the top of your aluminium uh, paper onto the top of that, and we have a heat press that's that's through there. So it would just go in. The heat press would come down 30 seconds, uh, and then that's that's you've got your your pattern, your design uh, straight on to, onto there. Then you can either leave it like that, or you could put it in, dye it, and bring it back out. And then you would use the acetone to take off the to, to take off the ink that's that was transferred, and then that will leave it either plain, or you can re dye it. So there's there's quite a lot of things that you can you can do with that. And you know what? It's just about experimenting and trying it out and see what works. Because that's what I did, and just you know, and there's still lots more to experiment and find out. And and once once I find out more, I'll pass it on. Adrian, how do, what do you do about the edges? <coughs> oh, I, when when I fi when I finish, I file them. Uh, you just treat it like you would just over in your copper. Uh, so so the filing and filing down and the sanding then and then the finishing off. And do you then? Do a colour round it, or you just leave it as? So no, I I leave it, I, but that's just my personal it's just my personal preference, mm -hmm. um, because it's it's sealed and it's done, and so that's it now. And then you're you're filing the edges, so I tend to do a little bevel because I like to see the the, the silver kind of come round from yeah. from the side. I, I, but it's just personal preference. Some somebody won't, and they just have the edges uh, so, straight like that. So could so would you sand it? Before you steamed it, if you wanted no, to. No, everything's all done afterwards. Everything's done. Mm -hmm. So and so then, if you wanted to sand it and then colour it, you, you couldn't re-steam it. I I would I wouldn't. You, you would right? Okay. No, you could you could if you want the edges I suppose done. You could go around you've with a sharpie, couldn't you? And you've taken away. I need to try that, but yeah, a sharpie would because do it's that. really only on the top layer. Yeah. If you're, uh, if this you're degrading the top layers and you go down a bit, can you not go into soft? Yeah, and that's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. It's just really kind of the top layer, so and that's kind of gone in the edges. So I don't think it would work, but I don't know until I try. Right through. The, 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 it's only a surface. It's just the surface. It's a surface. It's only the top layer the top that's layer been a red belt that doesn't go all the way through, right. which is why you can make use of your 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 etching, etching. and the laser, so that it takes that that top nice. top layer away. So it gives you that versatility. You you, you can do it. Um, not just with the dyes. I mean, you've got the machine here. I don't know if if you've got the, the machine that you you put in the you're going to use for electroforming as well. I don't know. You can you can electro dye with the machines where you drop them in. And I don't know if you remember the titanium earrings and things that you got, and it was all mm -hmm. the colour. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what that's done with the electrical current that goes through that brings it to yellows, purples, blues. There's a certain number that you go up to. But we're not doing that today. We just all it's all hand hand things that we're doing today. Um I like it. Uh, your work is lovely and I like it when you pierce into it as well. Just gives it another mm -hmm. dimension. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's just really yeah, think about pins and genius. Yeah, yes, <laughs> just yes. think about how it works in your design, you what you're cutting out, what you're putting with it. The stamps, uh -huh. the stamps I get off of eBay. Mm -hmm. So I set I, I search for the stamps off of eBay. You get them on Amazon. You get them yeah, Amazon. Amazon. You'll, yeah. Get, you'll get them. You'll you'll get them anywhere. I like to get, I like to get the the clear, the clear stamps because I can I can see on my. I mean, that's just basically your acetate block that you know your sheet of acetate your acrylic sheet that you've got here that's just acrylic so at least you can see when you're putting down where it's where mm -hmm. it's going yeah. when it's wood and that yeah, you, you, you don't you it. don't know if you have it requires precision where it's going to end up when you lift it out you're like ah half it's on half it's off but then you just go with that design as well then don't you so mm -hmm. is there anything else just to say a big thank you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Jen. Yeah. So, so cool. have, a, 
there's some pieces left if anybody wants to have a, a wee shot here. I'll leave, I'll leave the things there. But, but don't go mad with my alcoholics because it's expensive. Do you, uh, 